Hello, and if you found this video, you were probably searching on, does pageant interview preparation have to cost money? Or something like that. Does it have to cost money? Well, the answer is it depends. It depends on your goals and what you already have on hand. But it can cost as little or as much as you'd like, and there will be other videos in this series that will help you sort out what's the best fit for you. But in this video, let's talk about how we can be the most frugal in terms of pageant interview preparation. To begin with, let's be clear, you do need to prepare somehow. Pageant interview preparation is critical to your taking home the crown. But how can you do it? in the least expensive way. Well, use free resources that are all over the internet. Whether you go to my blog or other people's blogs, you'll find all kinds of tips and articles that will give you advice that you can put into play. Read them, make notes, uh, checklists of things that you need to do or things that you've mastered, other areas where you need to get some help if need be. Figure yourself out, look at yourself objectively in terms of these different things that you read and you can get a lot of good material for free. Of course there are materials that you can get in a range of prices to help you study at home. So if you find that there's an area that you need to focus on a little bit more, then you might look at getting one of those depending on your budget. The key is practice. It doesn't matter whether you're using paid materials or free materials. You must practice out loud, not just in your head. Practice out loud and ideally you'll get some sort of feedback. So how can you get that feedback? Well one way is to practice in front of a mirror. Just you in the mirror you'll still get some feedback on whether you stand straight or have some nonverbal behaviors that you need to address. You can get feedback by practicing in front of family and friends that will ask you questions and pretend that they're the pageant interview judges and then they can tell you whether you were on point or tended to ramble. You can also practice in front of a video camera. If you already have one of those, you can check one out from school or work. You might be able to get a lot of feedback from watching yourself on camera. Clearly having visual feedback is useful, but if all you have is a voice recorder or even want to use your own computer to record yourself in some way, hearing the sound of your voice and or seeing yourself will help you improve those behaviors. So do practice out loud and try and get feedback in some way. You might be thinking, well, what questions do I use to practice interview prep? Again, you can go back to the free resources or find inexpensive paid sources for questions. But since we're talking about the least expensive way, write your own questions. Look at your pageant application materials and write a few questions on each item there. Think about what's going on in the news. Ask yourself questions about recent events. And of course you should be watching the news a few times a week at least at both the local and national level to help you be aware of what's going on in the world. So. None of these things are probably surprising. The key is to do it. Just talking about doing it or thinking about doing it aren't going to get the job done. So if you practice, you will be better off than anybody else who just read something or thought about something. So do take that step and you'll find that you build skills that'll help you succeed in the pageant and will transfer out into other areas of your life as well. So if you found anything in this video helpful, believe me, we've got lots of other videos and there's a good source of free information for you. Subscribe to this channel, find the other videos, there's lots of pageant interview preparation tips for free in the videos and you can also go to my website pageanttophd.com and find lots of good stuff there as well. I wish you success, shine your brightest, I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.